Hey, mini bike friends, it's Dan Brzozowski with Ray Macrina, right, Ray? Yeah, right. And uh, we're here at the mini bike swap meet in Belleville, Michigan. And um, Ray is one of the godfathers of mini bikes, as you all know, Little Indians were some of the first mini bikes out there. And um, we're going to talk to Ray today about what mini bikes uh, Little Indians he really liked the best, and so on and so forth. But uh, right here, what, what do we have here, Ray? Well, that's number 130. That's uh, we built 10 the first year, 100 the second year, and so that's into the third year. That's the oldest one we've ever found. That's okay, so that's the oldest one you've yeah. got found. So this is the third year into it. It's your you did 130 mini bikes that year, you're saying? No, no. No. 10 the first year. 10 the first year. 100 the second, second year. year. So that's 110. Okay. And then this was into the third year. Into the third year? <clears throat> you don't know how many you had at, at that time? No, I believe it was two or three hundred. Two or three hundred? Okay. And you guys were hand having that hand bent, right? The, the tubing was hand well, bent? Or no? We did it. Well, we yeah. did it. had a bender for it. Yeah, a bender, right. But it wasn't hydraulic, correct? No, no. no. That's what I'm saying, the old no. days. And so you had, what else? You had a Clinton motor on the first yeah, ones? Yes, we did. We, we used those until Briggs and Stratton came along. Okay. And then we, well, but many of these here are Briggs and Stratton. Kind of like that one right there? Yeah. Now, did you like that 67 uh, mini that, bike? No, uh, that's a... Uh, uh, he put a five horse on it. We never used yeah, those for five. years. Yeah. Um, did you like the Clinton engines when you were using them? Yeah, but that was a two cycle. You had to build. You had to add oil to the Three gas. Minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so in, the, in mini bikes, people don't know, but they were really small like that when they first came out, weren't yes. they? Yes. Just, yes. Just, just little like pit bikes. Yeah. So out of all these here, what else do you know about some of the some of the little Indian? What you do or don't like any of these other ones? Well, they're all different. I don't see an original, other than this in here is an original. That's about as, about as close as an original that you got. Yeah. That's a 61, right? Yes, that's what he says. Okay, yeah. what was your first year of? Uh, 59. 59. 59. I was born in 1959, Ray. You're making oh yeah. You're making mini bikes today. I, the year I was born. Yeah. I, so, um, but you remember this frame over here too, though. That one. Yeah, I can yeah. remember. I I touched that one. I think at the time. At the yeah. time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. you go. And what about any of these others? Well, really I touched all those. All yeah. those. Yeah. Now, did you guys run a standard color for them at the time? No. Or different no. colors. Or? <clears throat> we changed colors every year. Every year. Now, did you like them when they were smaller or when they got larger? Well, the frames. <clears throat> well, this this is my favorite because that's what we we began with. Okay, so <clears throat> this is your favorite. Yeah, but then, well, then we got into the larger ones. Yeah, and this one down here is one of my favorites. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so but you do like this one a lot. Looks like it's something called called it a seven hundred. Yeah. Another series or something. Yeah, but that's not a, well. Yeah, that would be a 700. <coughs> and then, but what size engine did they put on that one? What kind of motor? Well, size? <coughs> I think it was a four horse, four but horse. he's got a five oh, on yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it popped there. And it was a Tecumseh, a Briggs and Stratton at the time. Yes. Motor. All right. And then one day uh, they called us. Briggs called us. They said they wanted two samples. To send to them to test, and then they they call us to come out there to Milwaukee, <clears throat> and my I went with my purchasing agent, and they they had <clears throat> this tied to a uh, uh, scale, yeah. and they fired it up, and they had a strobe light on it that flashed, and you could just see that engine bouncing all over. The place. Really, and they we went back in their office and talked. And on the way home, my purchasing agent said, we ought to look for a new engine. And about a week later, we got a letter from Briggs, and that was to anyone that used them on a mini bike. And they said, we don't want it to use them anymore. Really? Because it was got, jumping? Because it was yeah, bobbing well, around? Oh, they had, yeah, right. And they, uh, they cut out about 100,000 engines a year. No, that was with everyone. That's a lot of money. Oh yeah. I have to think about it. That that's kind of it's 
kind of ballsy to stop that. That's a lot of money to That's give up. Right. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah. So from there, you went to Tecumseh? Yes. Yeah. Well, Tecumseh is <clears throat> actually the Tecumseh plant that made the motors is like about uh, 25 minutes from my house, Tecumseh, oh, Michigan. Yeah. It's real close where they made them out. They're, they're not there anymore. But um, but yeah. But so then you guys switched over to Tecumseh, right? Yeah. And right. just stuck yeah. with them as the years. Yes, until the end, until I sold the business. So sold it out. Then, yeah. Then my, my I sold it uh, to a a company and they moved it to Kalamazoo and uh, they they manufactured it for six months went bankrupt and then my brother bought it. They yeah, bought it back? Um, uh, which brother? Um, Regis. Regis did, right, yeah. Yeah, and he, uh, he's got it down in Livonia, that's Georgia, and uh, he still manufactures them a little bit. But he's selling his all the parts, all the parts yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, because personally, I love the little mini bike way over there. That little one the with the clip. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. because I I like the the most oldest kind of original, but that's just. But I do like the one behind you too, over there, the that brown one. Yes, I do like you. that one too, though. I, I yeah, I like all those, all those mini bikes. Yes, that blue one there looks looks original. That's nice yeah. looking. That's yeah. a nice looking bike. So that probably came with four, four horsepower on it also, or no? Would no, that have been with the Clint? No, I think, no, that was a Briggs and Stratton. That was a Briggs and, and Stratton. And that would have been a two, a two horse, or, well, I mean a four horse, four horse. at the maximum. But it, that, they, the, the guys had always put a bigger engine on it. Yeah. You know, and that's, and they still do it today. I'm, oh. I'm meaning that that they throw big old monster motors on there. Yeah. You know. And and I'm old fashioned. I like the old way where the motor fits on there right, so I can put my feet on the pegs and ride carefully, and and, and hopefully not kill myself. Well, that's everyone your age. Yeah. Right. They right. all say they just tinker yeah. around with it. Right. And the young kids go nuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they shove those two twelve predators yeah. and with stage yeah. one, two, and three kits on them. And uh, go 60 miles an hour, but uh, hey, to each his own. I love it that the mini bikes are still out there, and there's a market, there's a niche. And um, as much as I like Honda, Suzuki, and Yamaha, I wish it would have stayed out of the mini cycle market for a while to yeah. let the mini bikes uh, keep going. But you know, we're trying to build a mini bike ourselves. Um, as I've told you before, frame and produce it. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's a tough market, and. Um, but everybody loves mini bikes still. So, so anyway, so that's basically you, you love that one, that one over there, the little one, yeah. that. Those are all your favorites. Well, this is my favorite of the bigger ones. Okay. You know, it's just we had everything on it. It was it handled very good. Now, do you know how much that would have sold for back in the day? Any idea about? I think two and a quarter, two fifty. And the little one, well, that yellow one, we sold for $100 in a kit. How long do you think it took you to, to have one of those welded up, to bend it and weld it up, a, a mini bike frame back then? Well, it was probably an hour. Probably an hour or so? Yeah. You know, between the bending and the... Yeah. And at first it was in your parents' basement or garage or no, somebody's? No, it was in my garage, and we stored the finished mini bikes in my basement. We took them over my my mother and dad's house to have them shipped out. My mother oh. would load, help them load it onto the truck. <laughs> How old were you then? Uh, about 30. 30? Really? Yeah. So you're, you're what, 80 what now? 86. 86. He's in such great condition. I'm just hoping when I'm 86 I'm doing the same because I go up and see Ray at the shop and he's just all over the place. Love the guy because he's got a lot of energy and, um, and uh, he just does of energy and I love talking to him about mini bikes because he's a wealth of knowledge and uh, and he helps keep it alive you know yeah 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 I like that anything else you want to say anything, anything about bikes or anything from the old day or any of the bikes well no this is all just little Indians in this area and uh, you know they'll ask me well did you, did you ever think when you were building them that they would be here today and no, no way. Yeah. No, I just worried about selling that one. That one. Yeah. And uh, well, I kind of think of you guys as like the, 
up there in Michigan being like the Henry Fords of the mini bike market. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Ford yeah. had the Ford cars and that was big, and uh, Kellogg's had the Rice Krispie, not Kellogg's, yeah. the, the Kellogg's brand cereals, and then uh, Little Indian mini bikes. Uh, was well, the same thing with Michigan. We had a lot come out of Michigan, and uh, that's really cool. I, I, I like that. I like talking with Ray about these bikes. And anything else before we go, you want to talk about Ray? No, 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 other than we. Well, I noticed here today, most of our customers have a beard, and they talk about how many they got. But I just wonder when they're gone. We don't see many young guys in it anymore. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, yeah. Well, my daughter helps with me, but she's in college now, so she plays lacrosse. Um, she got a scholarship on lacrosse, so we don't get to spend the time right now because yeah. she's so busy with school and that. But it's those where you got to hand it down to the younger. Yes. Well, they'll do that. So hopefully, she'll carry it on too after she gets out of college and has a little more time. But we still ride. And, and um, that's what it's about, you know, to keep the young involved, don't you think so? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. 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 That's a good thing you're saying, because there are a lot of older people here, and we like that. But, uh, well, hey, Ray, I think I really thank you, man. Uh, people love this, and uh, like little, love little Indians, and uh, talking and hearing about the industry. And that. So uh, wish you the best, Ray, and another 30, 40 years of life out of this guy, well, hey? Well, uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm just going to live another 25 years. 25 years, is that? How's that? <laughs> that sounds good. Hey, let's go get a picture over there on that other little Indian, okay? Well, I see you can cross right in here. Send you head um, all right, so what's he got? Break here. No, this is a throttle. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so the right hand's a throttle. Yeah. We'll, we'll loop that back in there, and the left is a brake. Brake. Yeah. I didn't know the throttle, so that's another thing. So that first the throttles were on there like that? Yeah, well, they didn't have a twist throttle. All right, about what year did they come out with that hat? I don't know. We had them build them, make them in Japan, and uh, Got him back, and you saw machining marks on him there. Yeah. And after a while, they were selling them the same one. Okay. Same, same marks. On okay. Them. Well, yeah, because I'd say if you're getting over rough, that's a little tough on the, you know, running your throttle like that, yeah. you know. Now here, this is a three-quarter uh, diameter. Yeah. And we went to seven eighths. On uh, the later ones. On the later ones. Okay, so it's first three quarter diameter, then to go to seven eighths later on. Right, and we uh, we took and bent this forward a little bit, uh -huh. and then we increased it over the years. Yeah, because if it goes straight down, that would knife, wouldn't it? When you go to turn, if you didn't have a bend in the in the in the bars. No, fuck. your knees. Are... Oh, okay. Knees would then hitting on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty freaking good that that he's getting on one of these here at 80, 80 what, 80, 86, 86 he was old, getting on one of these old things. So these tires look like about what they used to be, or no? No, nope, no, nope, they were knobby tires. It would be like this. Oh, they were the knobby Yeah. Okay. Uh, now here, you can see that the, this is welded on yeah. the inside of the yeah. frame. Later on, we moved it to the outside. Okay, so the peg, foot peg was welded on the outside later yeah. on the inside first. For more room or? Yes. Yeah, more leg room? More room. All right, that's interesting. That's cool. Well, you know, it, it's been a long time since I sat on this. Yeah, there you and, see. And I know why we made them bigger than <laughs> everyone else has made them bigger. Yeah. But it's like anything else, it evolves, hey? Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. Uh, now here you can see these. We took a straight piece of steel and just and cut it around there. Okay. And then took a little bit off here. Yeah. But then later on, we just, uh, we took a... Did you do a whole tree around it later or no? Well, we we, we took this fork and yeah. just welded it. Oh, and okay. It all gas welded. Boy, we welded underneath and on top. Uh-huh. But we didn't have an arc welder. An arc welder or something? <laughs> yeah. Who did all the welding? Well, we, all three of us. All three of you did? Hey, did you have to have insurance back then on that stuff? 
Oh, <clears throat> now good old days, right? Yeah. Yeah. If somebody if somebody tried to jump it off a 12 foot cliff, you weren't responsible for it breaking, right? No. <laughs> uh, we only got sued once, and uh, boy, I don't recall. They settled for a thousand dollars or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Somebody. But uh, no, didn't have any lawsuits in those days. Yeah. Yeah. But not like they do now. Not out there. Good. Cool. All right, Ray, this has been perfectly positive. We've got a couple pictures on there. We'll put it up on there. It's on video. We'll pop a couple pictures and get it up there for you. And, of course, you're still running Allied Leisure Sport? Yeah. Corp, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Allied Leisure. You want to talk to Ray or get some of their little Indian mini bike stuff, go AlliedLeisureSports.com. And, um, and uh, it's always great, Ray. It's always great to see you. Okay. See you up at the shop. See you at the swap meet every year. Fantastic guy, interesting stories, and um, and they're all true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a ton, right? Okay. All right. Now hold on a second, because I'm gonna have a lot. I'll shoot a picture.